This is a little video on one way to get an oil change on your Tough Torque K46 transaxle. Uh, these transaxles don't last very long. They're almost throwaway, but they're expensive. And there's no drain plug for the transaxle. But the oil has to be changed. Uh, I've rebuilt a few of these, but um, one inexpensive way for a homeowner to at least change some or most of the oil out of these things, uh, since there's no drain plug here, is on this particular model, I should have probably started from the beginning, but um, this is where under the seat is where your battery is. You take the battery out and then you lift the battery holder out and you can gain access to the transaxle fill plug. Now the fill plug is right here. And this is it. Ah, shoot. Okay, so um, a lot of times when you pull this off, this cover comes off independent of this piece here, but it just pulls out. It's not screwed in. It's just that it's been in there for so long that they usually come apart. They go right back together again. So what I've done is I've taken a brake bleeder tool, which when you squeeze it, look at the handle, creates a vacuum. The vacuum in turn draws through this collector. And what I've done is I've taken the other end of the hose, which normally goes on the bleeding part of a brake or a hydraulic cylinder, like a clutch. And I've stuck it in the hole. So, I believe these take, the Tough Torques take about a quart and a half of oil. Um, what I'm doing right now is I've got an empty one quart container of oil. And by the way, you should fill these with full synthetic oil. Uh, 550 is the best oil, but I couldn't find any today. So I, I'm going with 1550 full synthetic oil. It will help to extend the life of the pumps that are in that transmission so when I'm done I'll let you know how much oil I'm able to extract from this transmission by way of using a brake bleeder tool now this is just one pass with it and you can see that it's um, you know maybe you can maybe you can't anyhow it's dirty uh, it's streaky there are dark black streaks in there it's not translucent like um, fresh oil typically is so it definitely needs to be changed this mower is only about two years old and the transmission starting to slip already once it gets warm uh, it has lost power this is my dad's mower um, but it it doesn't go up the hill like it should any longer once it's warmed up and that's because the oil has lost its viscosity okay I've pretty much gotten out what I could get out uh, about a five minute process at best and as you can see, I've gotten out about a half a quart of oil. Now, the capacity of that transaxle is a little over a quart, so I'm only able to change out half. Um, they say you're supposed to change this oil every 200 hours. I think it should be changed every 50 hours, as the initial uh, oil change says. And the right way to do it, apparently, is to completely take that transaxle off and turn it upside down and drain it. Um, on my mower, when I took it off, I drilled the drain hole in it based on the hole locations that are on the internet, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, and now I can fully drain my transaxle. And I do that every season. The beginning of every season, I, I drain the oil out and put fresh 550 synthetic oil in it. Uh, when I bought my mower, the transmission was shot. So I rebuilt my transmission, was about 200 bucks in parts, put the drain holes in it, um, and I can climb a mountain with my tractor now and have been using it for about eight years. So changing the oil in these transaxles is important. Um, and I will go show you the PDF file that shows you where the drain holes are on the ones that do have a drain plug. So here on the internet, it tells you 
that the K46AM does have drain holes right here and right here. It's not where I drilled mine in. I drilled mine in right there and I put a hex head plug in there, flush mounted plug. But um, you can get you can drill some holes right here and right here and tap the holes out and put some bolts with an o-ring on it to create your drain holes. Uh, but be forewarned, you may wind up putting some slivers of aluminum from the housing in it as you're drilling and tapping the holes. But flush it out with oil. After you drill and tap the holes, you'll be fine. Um, as I mentioned, they recommend... Go up a little further. You'll see up here. Oil change schedule suggested to extend the life of a K46 transaxle. Tough or Torque recommends changing the oil the first 50 hours. And then every 200 hours, yet they do not give you the capacity to easily drain the oil and change it out. So using this as a guideline, if you are inclined to drill some drain holes, that's where you should drill them out because that's where they have them.